But even from what I'm seeing at the moment, I'm really concerned with how bad this bite wound is. My biggest concern is that it actually goes into her chest cavity. If it does go into her chest cavity, that's major surgery. And if that's gone in and damaged her lung, then her lung could be starting to collapse. She could have bleeding into her chest. Any of these things are possible and we need to find out as quickly as we can. Hi, this is Poppy. Poppy, Poppy just got attacked while on a walk by a larger dog. On the Gold Coast, vet nurse Tracy is rushing in an emergency patient badly bitten in a fight. Oh, down on the right side. See, um, got her mum's very upset. Yeah. We couldn't get the dog off Poppy. It was horrible. I'm just crying and yelping and we just literally couldn't get the dog off. It was traumatic. In the waiting room, Poppy's mum Jackie is distraught after the sudden attack by a dog three times Poppy's size. She was just out on a walk, was yeah, she? Yeah, on a walk, on a oh, lead. Sweet. Jackie and her husband Andy say Poppy means the world to them. Are you going to make me cry? She's Poppy, our little girl. Yeah, That's Poppy it. means everything to us. We don't have kids or anything like that, so she's she's our baby, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, she's our baby so. girl. She's we hope she'll right. be alright. She's in the good hands of the guys. Okay. Yeah, I can see this wound on this side. Oh, that looks nasty. A lot of blood there, and I can actually see right down to the tissue. And if that's a larger dog, that could have gone yeah. quite a way. Alex is immediately worried the dog bite has caused a deep puncture. I can see there's a big hole there, but there's so much fur there, it's actually quite hard to see what's underneath. We're actually probably going to have to clip that hair away. But even from what I'm seeing at the moment, I'm really concerned with how bad this bite wound is. All right, sweetheart, I'm just going to have a listen. I think I might go the other side first. Good girl. Good girl, Poppy. Our oh, heart's racing. Yeah, she's very distressed, aren't you? I think there's no doubt about it. We're actually going to have to surgically explore this. So what that means is we're going to stabilise her medically, first of all. She's in shock at the moment, so she's going to need pain relief and fluids. And then once she's stable, we're actually going to need to take her to surgery because my biggest concern is that it actually goes into her chest cavity. If it does go into her chest cavity, that's major surgery. And she likes cuddles. If Poppy has suffered a deep wound, it could threaten major organs like her heart and lungs. Such a good dog. All right, we're going to look after you. Her mum didn't get bitten? No, I think mum sort of picked her up fairly quickly and got her out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah, luckily. Alex has decided the wound to Poppy's chest is so deep she'll need immediate surgery. Such a you holding my hand. Good girl, Poppy. Oh, her eyes are all wide and worried. That's a big cuddle from Tracy. Tracy, your new friend. Yeah. Her mum was just telling me before that they just love people, and ah. when they find their people, they just want big cuddles. Ah. And I reckon, I reckon so you're cute. her people. I'm your people here. Excellent. Tracy's TLC is helping to calm Poppy, while Alex puts the traumatised little dog on an intravenous drip. This is going to get us started on fluids. Also, she's just about to undergo surgery and potentially quite a long anaesthetic. So we need to make sure that we're able to support her blood pressure, keep her well hydrated while she's under anaesthetic. Here we go. Just stick there. But suddenly... Oh, wow. Alex notices Poppy's breathing has accelerated. Just trying to get this done as quickly as we can because she's breathing up quite a lot now. Now, that could just be partly the stress. But my other worry is that bite is right over her chest. And if that's gone in and damaged her lung, then her lung could be starting to collapse. She could have bleeding into her chest. Any of these things are possible. And we need to find out as quickly as we can. If it has punctured into her chest and we see air in there, we need to know about that before we go to surgery so we know what we're going to be dealing with. Alex decides to do an urgent x-ray. Poppy on your side. I really want that side down if possible. Yeah, okay. OK, that looks pretty good. I can't see any fractured ribs on this view and no air in the chest, so good girl. And that's a good sign I'm not seeing any air in the chest. Now, it doesn't rule out trauma to the lungs completely, but it's our best indication before we go to surgery that the bite hasn't penetrated into the chest. She's still in a lot of trouble, but from what I'm seeing, it could have been worse. 
Surgery to repair the deep wound in Poppy's chest can now get underway without delay. Look at that. Gosh. That's horrible. I'm pretty worried with what I'm seeing there. With Poppy's wound, there's a big area of black, discoloured skin, which I think has actually died just because it was crushed for so long. We may have to remove a large amount of skin, and that's not going to be easy. All right, all I'm doing initially is just removing the dead tissue. And what I'm looking for is, has it got blood supply? Is it healthy colour? I don't want to remove any more tissue than I need to. Now we've got a huge hole that we're going to try to close. You're one lucky little girl, I reckon. I've had to like pull the muscle underneath in. It's going to look a bit odd to start with, but it'll all be fine in the end, as long as she doesn't go running around or doing anything crazy. But she's certainly going to have a big battle scar. Hey, sweetheart. Poppy will be closely monitored while she sleeps off the anaesthetic. Look who's here. Your friend Tracy. Hello. On the Gold Coast, Poppy has recovered from emergency surgery after she was viciously bitten by a bigger dog. It's OK. I'm really happy with how Poppy is physically and she's ready to go home, but there's psychological damage that's been done from a dog attack like this. That could take months to heal. Yeah, darling. Oh, good girl. Is that good? It's always really great when you start to see them eat. It's one of the first signs that they're on the road to recovery. Even if you have to sit and hand feed them a little bit to tempt them, but she's loving this. After some breakfast. Oh, good girl, Poppy. It's time for the two-year-old to be reunited with her adoring owners, Andy and Jackie. Who's in there? Hey, <laughs> oh, sweet. Hey, sweet. Hi, we were a bit worried last night. My concern was that it had got deeper into her lungs, into the organs. Just seeing her so happy was really good to sort of see that she's... Bounced back. Oh, definitely, after yeah. going through all of that. So, yeah. Asha, you're a little legend. Thank you, Shay. Good girl. Oh, pause it. Yes! Good girl. I feel like she's a little human in a little fairy um, body there. So, um, we're really lucky to have um, found each other. Thank you so much. Oh. She was just yeah. an absolute She's pleasure. She's a bit of a um, trooper. <laughs> Dr Alex looked after you, hey? If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. Yeah. <laughs>